Hello, everybody. This is Eric uh, again at LearnMax. Uh, I was watching, actually, I was getting some comments on one of my other videos, and it got me thinking, worked up, all excited about something. Um, basically, I had done a video on, on the other channel where I showed how you could control live with live. And a lot of people got confused by that and were like, oh, you're just doing automation. Oh, yeah, you, we can already draw envelopes and other stuff. And, and they entirely missed the point. So, um, at first, I apologize for making it sound like they were whining and all that kind of stuff. They weren't whining. They were just putting out. It was my fault. It's my fault. Uh, it's always my fault. It's okay. In the video, I must not have been clear. So here it is. Here's the cool part. Because this is like double rainbow, like amazingly cool, I think. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I was wrong in the first place. Maybe I'm still wrong. Maybe you don't care. Okay. But I'm going to run through it anyway. All right. Here's the idea. I can record what's going on over here, all my control stuff, into clips. Okay, and then I can use those clips to trigger other clips, to change volume, to all of that stuff, right? So I can really, I don't have to go into arrange mode to like fire this clip, that clip. Here we go. All right, here's how it works. I have at least one MIDI track, and this MIDI track's the important one, right? Let's look at the I.O. on this. Right now, it's MIDI from my remote SL, which is my keyboard here, okay? From all channels, my MIDI remote. MIDI 2... IAC driver, IAC bus 3. That's going to be my loopback, okay? On the Mac, I'm using IAC. On Windows, you're going to use MIDI yoke, okay? So, I go into my preferences. Preferences. It, the, the font is really small, but we can, we can deal with that. Okay. I look at input. Input, IAC driver, IAC bus 3, remote on. Okay, now this is important as well. Remote SL, remote is not on. So this guy is not acting as a remote control. He's only acting for track data. Okay, then I look down here, I see IAC driver bus track on. Okay, so IAC bus three is receiving and sending. That's my loopback. Okay, and as an input, it has to be in remote mode. For output, it's just in track data mode, okay? And my remote is not in remote mode. That's what's confusing here to me just now. It just happens to be the name of this keyboard is a remote, and the mode is remote, but we don't care about that. Okay, all right. So now, what's happening? When this track is in in mode, it receives MIDI in, sends it back out again, the loop back comes back into the program, and it sort of acts normal, like you'll see here. You see MIDI coming in, MIDI going out of these notes. Okay? I'm not hearing anything because there's no synth. This is just control mode. Okay. Now, here's where it gets exciting. I put it into MIDI learn mode, and I say, all right, I have some, some drum tracks here. I click one. I put it there. I put the next one there. I put the next one there. Okay. You'll also see I've got the audio tracks. And I'm going to put these guys there, there, there. I'm going to map these controllers here, here, here. I'm going to map the crossfader here. And I'm going to jump around here, here. Okay. Got all kinds of MIDI remote crap going on now. Okay, I turn off MIDI ro remote, I can trigger clips, okay, all right, so far so good, right, now the exciting part, I can stop everything, I'll stop everything, here's the exciting part, I come over here, on this track, I hit record, right, Nothing happens yet. Okay. I'm just being nutty. I'm just switching things around. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going crazy here. Just triggering stuff. Getting wacky. Where's all that going? It's being recorded. Onto this clip. 
See it all? There it is. There are the triggers. Here's all the note data. You starting to get it now? Okay. So I sit here, I stop everything. I take it out of remote if I want, or I could have done this interactively. I hit that button. What's going on? Something screwed up. All right. That's not supposed to happen. It was all working. Okay. Turn it on. Call me a liar here. Uh, volume's down. Damn it. No, is that it? No. That? No, the trick. They're, they're not triggering. Why are they not triggering? That's all there. Damn you. It's all there. Nothing's going out. Bus three. Channel one. Oh, because I'm in that. There. Duh. All right. I had the routing wrong. I'm stupid. All right. Start over. Don't start over. Just start from this point. Ready? There we go. No longer dumb. Of course, the levels are like set. Here. Okay, moral of the story, don't leave it to monitor. Duh. All right. So it's been six minutes and 45 seconds, but hopefully you get the idea this time, right? So now I've got three tracks being controlled by this clip on this other track, and I can just hit that clip, and everything gets wacky again, you know? It just so happens that these are starting off at zero, because that's where they were. That's what it got recorded in, but as things start going, you'll see it'll start going nutty, going crazy. All right. Hopefully that was more clear that time. So here it is. This is this is why I'm excited about it. This is why I think it's, you know, double rainbow, whatever. It's it's live, recording in clips, whatever I want. And I can call that back, play it back. I can trigger, you know, sequences of things. Bada bing, whatever. Okay, good. Hopefully I got the point across. Rambled enough. Got excited about it. Have a great day. This is today's post. All right. I love you guys. Subscribe. Happy patching. <laughs>